Hello students, in the last video I have covered the first method under super profit method. In this video, I will be covering the next method that is annuity method. Let's start. So, when I say annuity method and the super profit method, why there is a need to calculate using present value? The reason is when we calculate the goodwill as per super profit method, the time value of money is not considered. Okay, so to get back on this drawback, we have bought this annuity method. Since the super profit which you are expecting is going to be in future, so you should consider what, what will be the present value of this money at this point of time. In super profit method, we used to multiply it with number of years of purchase. The only change in this method is what? Instead of multiplying super profit with number of years of purchase, we will be multiplying it with what? Present value factor. This present value factor is derived from present value table, which will be readily given to you, also known as discounted value of super profit. Fine, simple, let's start. So it is given by the formula, goodwill is equal to super profit multiplied by present value of annuity factor. As told to you earlier, this present value annuity factor, you need not need to calculate. It will be given to you in the question. And the super profit, which we have covered in the last video. What was the formula to calculate super profit? It was average profit minus the normal profit. Because super profit is excess profit, which we have earned over the normal profit. We will again revise the steps which we have done in super profit method. What was the step one? Calculation of average profit, which is total adjusted profit in the past years divided by number of years. Covered in the video number one as well. Step number two, we are calculating capital employed. I told you there are two methods, liability approach or asset approach. It is up to you, whatever method you like, you can go with it. Simple, let's go to step number three. What was the step number three in the super profit method? It was calculation of what normal profit normal profit is calculated by giving the formula capital employed multiplied by normal rate of return or we can say nrr given to you in the question the step number three was calculation of super profit super profit is what excess of average profit over normal profit and finally the calculation of goodwill instead of multiplying the super profit with number of years of purchase, I will be multiplying it with what present value of annuity factor that is we are considering what will be the value. Okay, what will be the value in future, the calculation I am doing in present. Okay, that is the reason we are replacing the number of years of purchase. Fine. Let's understand using an illustration to give you better understanding. Let's start. Let's see the question clearly first. Calculate the goodwill by annuity. This word will be given to you. So you understand that we are using which method? Annuity method of super profit on following facts. First one is what? Average profit. Second, they have given you capital employed. As told you, sometimes they will give you this number. Sometimes you need to calculate using liability and asset approach. The third thing given to you is NRR required for calculation of normal profit perfect lastly the present value annuity factor which is in replacement of number of years of purchase which is 12 percent interest 3.604776 let's solve it step by step let's go ahead what was the step one calculation of actual average profit if we see my actual average profit is given as 65,000 readily Next step, calculation of capital employed. Again, I don't need to calculate it. It is given as 4 lakh rupees. In the previous video where I have taught you how to calculate capital employed, where you actually did the calculation. Here you did not do because the number is given to you readily. The third thing is normal profit for which I require what capital employed 
multiplied by normal rate of return. What is normal rate of return? It is given as 12 percent. So, 4 lakh multiplied by 12 percent gives you 48,000 rupees as your normal profit. Perfect. The next step is calculation of super profit. What is the formula to calculate super profit? It is average profit minus normal profit. My average profit is rupees 65,000. My normal profit is how much? Rupees 48,000. So can I say my total super profit will be how much? 17,000 rupees. Perfect. Once you have the super profit, you have to calculate a goodwill. Goodwill is given by the formula under annuity method as super profit multiplied by annuity factor. In our case, annuity factor is based on 12% interest which is 3.604776. Right? So, I will be multiplying 3.60. 4776. So finally, my goodwill amounts to 61,281 approximately. You do not write the decimal figures, right? So, this was a very simple method to calculate goodwill using super profit annuity method. Okay. So, thank you so much. In the next video, I will be covering the final part of capitalization method. So, stay tuned. Thank you.